The atomic bomb, the single most destructive object ever created by the hand of man. It began with the first nuclear reaction underneath the stands of the University of Chicago Stadium and led to the destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan to the arms race that scared nearly every human being for the past 60 years. It's been a fantastic and horror-filled period. The nuclear age, as it has been referred to, began as squashed corp beneath the stands of the University of Chicago Stadium. It was here that Enrico Fermi and a team of scientists built the world's first artificial nuclear reactor. This nuclear reactor provided the seeds for the beginning of the Manhattan Project, a research project centered in the Los Alamos National Laboratory. The project was started on direct authorization of Franklin Roosevelt, who was influenced by the advancement of Nazi Germany in developing nuclear power. The Manhattan Project was led by Robert Oppenheimer, as a team of nearly 130,000 people worked for nearly six years to develop the world's first atomic bomb. What they did was what many saw as impossible, a bomb that can destroy an entire city in merely a few seconds. Following tests that confirmed the power of the weapon, now referred to as the Trinity Test, which occurred on July 16, 1945, the world entered the atomic age. It was then at Potsdam that Truman, Stalin, and Churchill met to discuss the final action plan against the Empire of Japan. It was here that they issued the Potsdam Declaration, a warning to Japan that they will face utter and complete destruction as they continue the war against the Allied powers. Then on the morning of August 6, 1945, the bomb was dropped above Hiroshima, Japan. Here is what occurred. For seconds, the time and barometric triggers started the firing mechanism. A uranium bullet fired down a barrel into a uranium target. Together, they started a nuclear chain reaction. Solid matter began to come apart, releasing untold. At 1900 feet above the city, the bomb exploded, and in milliseconds, people were vaporized to dust as shadows of their former selves were less left on the pavement. In just a millisecond, thousands were killed instantly, and over 200,000 people have died from the five-ton bomb, which, sadly, did not force Japan into submission, and the Allied powers used another bomb. As shown here, one can see the pure destruction of the atomic bomb, as over 90% of Hiroshima was completely wiped out, and the city was completely leveled. The people on the ground experienced pure terror, and this person shows what it was like to be there. To the west, thought the east might be better. People were going in every direction, in total silence. Not only was the city destroyed, but nearly every person felt the result of the impact directly. So you can see, the heat from the massive explosion scorched off skin of many people, thanks to the bomb. Radiation inflicted many of these people, and there are still people alive today that are suffering from the effects of this bomb, as radiation has slowly killed them over the past 60 years. The second atomic bomb in the United States used in combat was Little Boy, a plutonium-239 bomb that weighed 15% more than that of Fat Man, the original bomb. It was used on the city of Nagasaki on August 9th, and it was the final time an atomic bomb has ever been used in combat, but still, they're being tested to this day. The Soviet Union had been trying to develop an atomic bomb since 1940, and in 1945, they obtained the blueprints of the United States atomic bomb. Finally, in 1949, they first tested an atomic weapon, and from then on, the race began to develop bigger, more powerful nuclear weapons. Then, for the next 60 years, more powerful nuclear weapons began to be developed, new delivery systems began to be developed, and new countries gained the ability to develop weapons. Countries that have since gained nuclear capability since the United States and Soviet Union have been Great Britain in 1952, France in the year of 1960, China. India in the year 1974, Pakistan in the year 1998, North Korea in 2006, and though unconfirmed, it is believed Israel gained nuclear capabilities in the year 1979.
The types of bombs also began to change, as a new type of bomb, commonly referred to as a hydrogen bomb or thermonuclear bomb, was introduced as much more powerful than the atomic bomb. These bombs yielded a much more pow greater power, and nonetheless, they were the same in size, and were feared by all nations as they tried to develop their own and trying to threat their enemies. The world reached its nuclear peak when Russia tested Tsar Bomba, also known as the King of Bombs, in 1961. This hydrogen bomb was equal to 57 million tons of TNT, and when it exploded, it could be felt on its third passage around the world on Richter scales. Truly, this is the greatest display of human power, and since this time, no other bomb has reached this power. The delivery of nuclear weapons has also changed, as now they are being delivered through missiles, and this has made the idea of nuclear war much more scary, as now we much harder to detect when a country will be attacked, as well as these missiles can carry up up to six. In the Mahmoud Ahmadinejad Lad Iran seems to be making advancements every day, as they advance closer to gaining nuclear capabilities. And the question nearly ever, every person seems to ask themselves is, can we maintain this Earth? Can we maintain the planet that has existed for 4.6 billion years? Or will it fall into a nuclear holocaust, where only the sun is blocked out, where civilizations are wiped out in seconds? The answer cannot be known, and it is our duty as future nations to prevent the destruction of our Earth from happening.